In the previous episode of Iron Man... Although much of the blast was contained underground, the explosion spread a radioactive cloud for miles. Much of the blame and anger is focused on a major player in this tragedy, Iron Man. The very technology that you designed to keep yourself alive... ...is being used to commit atrocities. Endless opportunities for terrorist misery because of what I built. These negator packs seem to do a pretty good job of disabling my stolen technology. Generate a list of every known armored warrior. Everybody gets a personally delivered gift box, courtesy of Iron Man. It's just you and me, Iron Man. Like I've always wanted. It's about Iron Man. You shut down Iron Man, or S.H.I.E.L.D. will shut down Stark Enterprises, period. Effective immediately. I'm terminating Iron Man's employment by Stark Enterprises. <gasps> to put it simply, he's fired. You can lie in public all you want, but don't lie to me. Why do you always push away the people who care the most about you? I don't know. <sighs> Why won't you talk to me? wasn't the rousing success you'd hoped for, huh? My emotions got the best of me. Yeah, that's what Tony does best. Most people get close, but never really lets him in. What do we do, Jim? He's cut himself off. He won't listen to anybody. Except those of the holographic persuasion. Yo, homie, how about cutting us a couple megabytes of information? My programming prevents me from divulging any privileged data. Oh, wise up, binary brain. Tony's going down for the third time and dragging everyone else down with him. You know what happens then? They put you to work checking tax returns for the IRS. Uh, actually, I have found Mr. Stark's recent behavior rather unsettling. Yeah, isn't it crazy? Perhaps I can facilitate a frank discussion of the issues. Would it be useful if I were to locate him for you? He's at the beach house, isn't he? No, he is currently flying south. What the heck? What do you Probable thinking? target identified. Special Naval Command Operative, codenamed. Stingray. Aw, oh, Jim. Oh, I know. He's gunning for the good guys again. Rody, you've got to stop him. Hey, look, I've tried, but there's no talking. I don't mean talk. I mean stop him as War Machine. I can't fight Tony. I mean, he's Tony. He's not the Tony we knew. Rody, he's crossed the line. He's a menace to himself and everyone else. <sighs> Hard drive, prepare the War Machine armor so it's real nice and shiny for when Tony kicks my rear. You're in serious hot water, Iron Man. Fired from Stark's security umbrella, and then assaulting a the level six naval command officer. No laughing. Yeah, I'm working alone these days, but believe me, Stingray, I don't want to fight you. Yeah, well, tell that to the fans when they slam your sorry butt in the brig. Hide your armor. Nothing happened. 
Stingray's equipment isn't based on Stark technology. What have I done? Well, let's see. Near as I can figure, you've trespassed on federal property, assaulted a naval officer, and taken a dip without waiting an hour after mealtime. I don't have time for one of your morality lectures, Jim. Yo, well, make time. I'm here to put the kibosh on your act one way or another. Don't you get it? I have to do this. I have to. It's the only way to make sure my designs... Wait a minute. Your war machine armor is also one of my designs. Tony, you got rust in your helmet or what? Knock it off! I can't stop. I must not stop. Man, you really lost it. Tony's gonna make it rain on me. Wait, he's not showing up on radar. Oh, he must have activated his thinking stealth armor! Oh. I'm sorry, Jim. But your armor is based on the same Stark technology you've been tracking down. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, don't you see? Too much blood's already been spilled with my sword. Hit half the hand! Uh, your timing stinks, Stark! Just when I uh, get used to the darn thing again. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Iron Man, Stark Enterprises' squeaky clean corporate symbol, has become an uncontrollable menace. Mr. Hammer, don't you mean former corporate symbol? Mm, whatever. So, as a loyally patriotic citizen of this great nation, and to end this sad chapter in history, I've placed all of Hammer Corporation's considerable resources at the government's disposal. Wow. In a momentous collaboration, the final solution to the Iron Man threat... Ladies and gentlemen, meet Firepower! These radio-controlled tanks and planes are just for target practice. Firepower was built for one purpose, and one purpose only. To ensure the security and safety of the world by destroying the renegade Iron Man. You got it wrong, Hammer, old boy. It's firepower using my stolen technology that needs the destroying. Iron Man! Come in, Iron Man! Oh, come on, Tony, you stubborn mule! I know you can hear me! And why are you yelling? Don't get smart with me, Stark. Just hustle your skinny metal behind out of there! It's a trap! No kidding, Sherlock. Then why are you... Because now everything makes sense. Hammer built firepower. If I look at your tent, he was behind the thefts all along. If I can take Hammer's brainchild apart and analyze him, I'll have the proof I need. And then what, Tony? What possible good can I... Look, Julius, I'd love to chat. There's a 5,000-pound gorilla looking to peel me like a banana. Tony! Tony! No, oh, you stupid... <laughs> Nothing like an iron helmet nicely amplify the sound of an explosion. Warning, Iron Man's heart rate and blood pressure are at critical levels. All right, laughing boy, maybe you got me outgunned. But this armor of mine wasn't just built for comfort, it was built for speed. Parking on target. Parking on target. Parking on target. On target. On target. On target. Miss me? Here's a chip on your shoulder. The gator chip, that is. Um, mind if I ask you a question? Shouldn't your circuits be turning to guacamole about now? Locking on target has one answer. So, after Iron Man's vicious and unprovoked attack upon the guardsmen, I analyzed his negator packs and discovered a way to neutralize their effects. They're totally useless against firepower's design. 
Sir, your circuitry has run down. Huh. Repulsor power nearly exhausted. And, oh yes, you have two broken ribs. Uh, okay. Now, give me the bad news. Continued combat could prove fatal. You're absolutely right. What's he doing? Apparently launching another attack. Tony! Logging on target. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed live on national TV the end of Iron Man. What a stinking lousy waste. Watch out, here comes Iron Man! Oh, look at him fly! Oops! <laughs> What's so funny, soldier? Nothing, sir. Bet your job nothing. There was a good man in that armor and he deserves your respect. Is that clear? Sir! Yes, sir! Now get out of my sight. Funny. I don't see any blood. And all the circuits have been negated. There's something not kosher about that metallic mauler. Miss Carpenter, though I am not programmed to experience loss, may I offer my sympathy? Sometimes I think you're the lucky one, Homer. Must be nice not to, not to feel any pain. Start to Stark Enterprises. Start to Stark Enterprises, do you read me? Tony! We'll lodge and kick him. But, but how? We saw you get blown up. Correction. You saw my armor get blown up. Where's Rhodey? In a chopper, headed home from Stingrays. Thought I had a funeral to attend. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Listen, I'll be the one limping down the Interstate 5 outside Camp Pendleton. You think you could make a little detour? Broken ribs, extensive bruises and hematomas, multiple symptoms of neural and cardiovascular dysfunction. Don't forget the athlete's feet. <coughs> ah, look, I realized that all my missions hadn't solved anything. If firepower could be designed to resist my negator packs, then so could others. My actions were all too little and too late. So I set the Iron Man armor on remote control and put him out of my misery. Why didn't you level with us, man? I mean, why do you always have to go it alone? I don't know. I guess I was afraid. No, not afraid. Angry. Angry that somebody'd stolen your special toy. All right. Angry like some sort of spoiled rich brat. All right, I know. It was wrong. I was wrong. That's why I want to ask you both to forgive me. Tony! You can't treat people like machines. We have emotions. And emotions are not just something you can switch on and off like a computer. Should I be offended by that remark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Whoever said laughter was the best medicine ought to be shot. Oh. Hey, what about Hammer? If that sleaze stole your designs, I assume you're... I'm not going after anyone anymore. The world wanted Iron Man gone. They got their wish. Stark Enterprises can go back to business as usual. And no one has to worry about some lunatic vigilante in a metal suit. You've done well, my mechanical confrere. But destroying Iron Man was just the first step. Step two is the complete and total annihilation of the great Stark Enterprises. <laughs> Turning to business, Stark Enterprises has become a company under a curse as it suffers one inexplicable tragedy after another. On Wall Street, trading was halted as investors sold Stark Enterprises stock at fire sale prices. In other news... Tough day at the office. I bet better. I thought you might be interested to know that firepower is showing up missing. Figures. Nothing else could cause so much damage and not leave any clues. Cause Hammer's playing cute and dumb. But I'm figuring he took back his wind-up doll and is using it to put you out of business. You got a point, Fury? Without proof, I can't stop either one of them. You can. Well, what do you want me to do, sue him? 
Jeffers need evidence tying him in with fire. I'm not talking about a courtroom fix, pal. What you need is Iron Man. Well, in case you haven't been reading the papers, Iron Man's dead. And so Stark Enterprises. Unless you can fix it so old Shellhead comes back from a boneyard. But Iron Man's no longer. Think about it. Tony's been locked up in there for days. Usually I get a couple grunts when I knock. Now he won't even answer. You don't think he's gone into... The man's been depressed for a week. and I've never seen him so low. What do you think? I think it's time to pull my spider strength out of the cobwebs. Stand back. Don't worry. I'll put it on my expense report. Does this mean what I... Mark Twain once said, the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Iron Man lives. Hate to break your concentration, mister. But you are trespassing. Data error. Subject Iron Man has been deactivated. What can I tell you? We superheroes are a resilient lot. We just keep going, going, going. Fortunately, you were pretty easy to track down. Just checked out the five or six Stark operations you hadn't hit yet. Voila! The Exo Armor seems to be performing up to expectation, sir. Mm, not much of a fashion statement, but yeah, it does the trick. Helps cut down on the rug burns, too. Cranial circuitry overload. As long as you got a headache, use the bellyache to go along with it. Was only 1,200 tons of steel. Subject Iron Man must surrender. Subject Iron Man doesn't like the look of this. Oh. Oh. That hurt. Sir, that is a limited yield neutron bomb warhead. Well, I didn't think it was a head of lettuce. Can't you talk him out of this, Homer? You speak, robot. I'm afraid I don't know what you... Hey, firepower. Don't think I'm not flattered, but... Isn't using a neutron bomb against me kind of overkill? Subject Iron Man is not the target. Target is on the outskirts of Los Angeles. You just side up. Stark Towers! Sir, radiation would be confined to the construction site, but there are some 700 construction workers there. Commencing launch procedure. No! Launch capability has been neutralized, but the bomb is still gonna blow. Not good. Tip. Couldn't just have a user-friendly on-off switch. Sir, if my analysis is correct, 13 seconds remain until the fuel is spent and the neutron bomb goes off. Well, Homer, 11. That's not Ten. helping. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Oh. Well, when in doubt, no. just break it. Whew. Sir, was that last action proven? Not particularly, but hey, it worked. Okay, Chuckles. Dr. Iron Man needs to access your database. Open wide. You're not dead after all. Oh, I admit I'm surprised. And I loathe surprises. I'm waiting, Iron Man. Aren't you supposed to say something annoyingly heroic like, and your time has come? Idle threats aren't my style. S.H.I.E.L.D. and Stark are heading a task force which will explain my actions. But there's no way I can prove you sent firepower to ruin Stark Enterprises. There's no way my boss, Mr. Stark, can nail you through legal channels. Then, sadly, there's nothing you can do. Except deliver this little early Christmas gift. Compliments of Anthony B. Stark. I'm feeding an interesting little computer virus into your system. One that destroys any record of the Iron Man technology, regardless of how it's been pass-coded. Or encrypted. Oh, no. Or yes. We already did the same over the internet. Call it filling the potholes on the old information superhighway. Now, no one will be able to duplicate the technology you stole, and no one will be harmed by its misuse again. Oh, call me reckless, but I also accidentally erased everything else in your computers. 
I hope that won't set Hammer Industries back more than a couple of three years. If you work real hard, you can probably just avoid bankruptcy. I'll give your pretty boy employer this message, Iron Man. I'm not through with him yet. I'm sure he's shaking in his boots. Brody, Julia, thanks for coming. I've uh, got some Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee on. You gave us a real scare, Tony. I'm just glad you're back. <laughs> I guess I sort of lost it there for a while, didn't I? I couldn't handle the guilt of knowing that my inventions were being misused, causing people pain. Because the last thing I ever wanted was to cause pain. Especially to those people I really care about. Who've stuck by me when no one else would. I... I... Get some sleep, Tony. You look tired. Morning, Gub. Now what kind of... That ring in the window. Hey, I can see you got a fancy for the baubles. And I'll bet you're willing to pay right dearly for it, aren't you? As you might guess, it's a very valuable... I have no intention of paying for it. I offer a trade. I want my dad be the ring for your life. Uh, it's a deal, sir. I thought so. <laughs> Soon, Iron Man. Very soon now. <laughs>